Right, I was lucky enough to get hold of this old rod, I don't know what it is, could be 40s, uh, 50s, 60s I think, it's probably 60s, it's an FT Williams um, Rushton rod, it's a 12 foot float rod, when I first got it it was in a bit of a mess, I've had to, I've had to um, re-ring re -ring it, I'm just starting on it actually, putting nice new rings on it, I uh, don't know about those black bits, I'll probably take those, those they're off, they're a bit tatty, but I've got the red on. Uh, you can see it's quite a nice whipping finish as well. Nice red rings, very posh. Uh, so what I've started to do on this one is put another ring on this side. There's quite a few to go yet. So I'm just going to sort this one out next, get this one spinning. I have to back off a bit. So just get it going like that a bit first and then we can just spin it a bit like that. Like that. And what we can do is just a bit of that off there, like so. Fantastic these old vintage rods, they're so brilliant, they, they really do deserve looking after and sorting out. It's, um, it's whole cane, the first section, the butt section, and then the middle section is, um, is partially, you can see here, it's partially um, whole cane, whole cane bamboo, whatever you want to call it, and then you've got um, a section here which has been uh, wedged in which is split cane and comes up to the ferrule there. I had to glue one of the ferrules onto because it was loose. Um, there's a slight split in it here but I've arrow dighted it together. I'm going to whip over that make it look really nice. Uh, you can see there that's the actual original that one as far as I know. That is an actual original bit of the of the rod how it used to be. That's the ring that's got to go on there. So it's just the standoff rings. I think the Fuji rings might not be quite traditional but they, they'll be good strong rings and I want to use it as well as just sort of look at it so it's going to be something that we can actually catch fish with as well. So what I'm doing is now I'm just spinning the, this bit on here. Spin it like that you see. Like that. Nice and tight. That's it. And just make it a little bit fancy at the end. That's about right I think. I can't back it back up a bit. One, two, It's going to be nice and traditional looking. They really, really must have spent a lot of time on these old rods because they, they're just so beautiful and all sort of craftsman made, handmade, fantastic works of art. The guys who made them must have really loved it. And it's not the lightest of rods, this one, I must admit, but it's. It's not as heavy as just split cane, but it's a nice nice old rod and it deserves to be used. Just gonna find a little bit to pull this through with. What we do is we need a loop there. So we just make sure that's on there. Like so. Pull that through there like that. It's really hot in here. I'm doing it in the greenhouse, it's a lovely day, but I don't want wind spoiling everything. Alright, so that goes on there like that. Okay, I'll get those up there, got a loop, and to finish it off, we just cut that bit, and then it, that's it, push that through there, like so, my fly tying skills come in handy for this, that pulls through there like that, and we trim that off with the scissors. Need a new pair of scissors as well, these are sort of blunt blunt as a poke chop. Bit of varnish at the end, and that's another part done. Using some nice black thread here, it's good, but here on the other end I use some sort of green thread, it's not very nice, it's a bit fluffy, I think I'll have to take it off. But that is just about sorted. There we are, you see that's a ring there. Looks a bit tatty at the moment, but when it's all varnished nicely, it'll look really good. Okay, certainly better than what we've got here. Alright, great.